so there were a couple of open questions asked by you in the previous classes the first question can we build pre-style fuel replication and deploy them on BTP is it possible to show one example of freestyle app using Kappa mode data if I want to deploy to build freestyle fury app as a separate microservice what is the option for me I have heard about Central Fury Launchpad in SAP BTP. What is it and how to use? My company is building HTML5 apps in BTP, which they call as Fury apps. How it is different? If I want to make build multiple Fury apps, many many Fury apps on single O data offered by Capum, what is the best practice? Anubhav, when you deploy Fury app, it was deployed as Node.js application. How can we deploy it as an independent Fury app? What is managed app router? I have heard about it but never used it. What is it in BTP? All are these questions asked by all of you in the previous classes or not asked by all of you in previous classes but asked by your seniors. I have trained thousands of consultants including corporates like EY, NVIDIA, FIS Global, LAMB Research, HPC, ONGC, Reliance Industries and many 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 other clients across India and overseas. Thousands of consultants are coming and learning on our YouTube channel on BTP. Based on all the experiences and questions, we have designed this course so that you get the edge over anyone else. Some of these questions asked by you, but some of them were asked by my ex student and also on YouTube by many other people. We are going to answer all these questions today. The solution for that is deploy and develop a HTML5 application to solve all these problems. So currently we have developed and deployed our CAPM application on SAP BTP platform. So this is a SAP BTP platform with environment as Cloud Foundry. And in the last episode, you have just deployed your SAP CAP application with security. That is what you have done in the last class. Now, I want to develop a Fury app, which is a freestyle Fury app, outside this CAP application, 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 outside this CAP application. This CAP application offers the O data. And we want to develop a freestyle Fury app outside this. We don't want to add that inside the app directory. So currently, if you see, I come back here. 
currently if you see the fury app is added as a module within itself within the application so this we already know there is nothing new for us there is no rocket science by far in this we already know this this is something which you all can do and we did it also this is our fury app it's within the project it's within the project yes it's within the project but what if i want to develop it outside the current project how can i do that yes how can i do that so to be able to do that we are going to utilize we are going to utilize something different so we are going to develop today a freestyle fury app as an independent app with this approach you can actually develop many 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 fury apps outside your application outside your cap application many 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 you can develop freestyle also and fury element also both of course of course both you can develop so that is certainly possible what's the advantage the advantage is if in the future you want to change your fury app you just need to touch this fury app you don't need to redeploy your cap application again second there is a great isolation third these fury apps are deployed as html5 apps not as a node.js application which gives an advantage for you to make these application accessible over central fury launchpad what is central fury launchpad i will explain that also yes now the cap application offers the o data and you can access this o data via the cloud foundry destination concept via the cloud foundry destination concept i am going through this let me complete this you will be getting answers so now all these fury apps can actually via the destination access your cap service this is a great isolation this is a great way and if in future you want to maintain something you don't have to open your cap project at all because cap project is very sensitive keeping the fury application within the cap project might be riskier that a developer might change other files which can cause side effect so after you finalize your database services everything you typically do not touch your cap project which is a good practice which is a good practice you will go and develop and deploy your fury apps independently and they will not be deployed as a node application rather they will be deployed as a html5 application